Hi everyone, it is a tremendous honor to have the CEO of HTC with us, Peter Zhao. Peter, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. My pleasure. So we had a very big event, you had a, a great product to show off today. Uh, let's, let's do a quick little uh, show off again with the, with the M8. Yeah, this is M8. Uh, this is the, our new flagship uh, smartphone. Now the, uh, the new flagship phone, this is a, it's such a big deal because um, we were pretty big fans of the original HTC One, the M7. Yes. The, the thing that we were so impressed about was the actual industrial design. So I, I'm very curious to know what kind of challenges uh, were presented to you in coming out with something even better. Yeah, so <clears throat> we were really inspired from the HTC One M7. So people still saying this is the best smartphone. So our challenge is, you know, how do we break through another level from M7 to M8? So uh, even I decided, you know, last year that I'm going to spend most of my time in product to really break through. So what we really try to do is to make it even more premium and make it really like a jewelry, a premium product and make it pure. So this design is so pure and honest. This is, uh, you know, HTC, we would like to stand out in design. Sure. Because design is something we are so passionate and we, our people are so committed to come out great design. Sure. So we want to have this uh, stunning finish, this uh, beautiful hairlines and you make it really feel good in your hand. And when you hold it, you, you, you trust it. You know, you, you kind of, you proud of you having one. So what's your, how, how do you communicate to uh, the design team? Do they come up with the ideas and they present it to you? Or do you have a specific vision that you? Uh, I give them direction. I give them what we want to achieve. This, this, this. And then they go think about that. Mm -hmm. And they come back and then we kind of uh, uh, go through that iterate uh, process. You know, for example, uh, I have this numb working mock-up and I've been carrying for three months, around three months, and then, so we back and forth fine tuning that. So for example, I don't like this curve. I want to, I want to have this more thinner and more, you know, na right. natural in your hand. And I want this completely metal, nothing as, you know, completely pure, you know. Sure. Yeah, I, I heard a rumor that you carried a block of wood around in your pocket for a while. Yeah, that, yeah, true? yeah. I try to simulate, you know, when I take out how I I can feel it, I put it in my, my, my ear, mm -hmm. I try to talk, I try to, you know, interact with that. So I want to, I want to feel it that way. Uh, so there's some edges, so uh, we kind of really make it softer, mm -hmm. so that it really feel great. And how yeah. many different uh, uh, prototypes or models do you test out before coming up with this final version? Um, it's maybe 30 to 50, mm -hmm. depends, you know. Sometimes uh, we just change color, sometimes we kind of re refinish, yeah. sometimes we change battery so to, cut, to, to get this, this shape because uh, we really want to have this beautiful, I want to have this thin edges, mm -hmm. so this is only three and a half millimeter. So okay. M7 is around five millimeter. So this is thinner, thinner than uh, uh, M7. Right, so I, I'm sure you know, you're saying that you want it to be thinner, like this, this is presented as a, a pretty big challenge to the team. We saw the video earlier where they're saying, this is impossible, let's do it. Yeah. So, um, you know, are, are most of your ideas and most of your vision, uh, do they start out as something that's completely impossible to do at first? And then you just let the design team do their thing from there? Yeah, so we didn't look at what is possible. We look at what we want, mm -hmm. what, what, what would be really exciting, and then find a way to, to, to make that happen. If you started from what is possible, then you're not, you're, you're not really uh, trying to get you know, the, the best. Right. So 
so you have to come out from the perfect. What, what is perfect? What you really want, and then you come out that 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 vision, and then go to work with all the designers and to see how we can, you know, uh, break through that challenge. No, uh, what you have here uh, the gunmetal gray. Uh, there's also a silver and a gold color. Gold, oh, yeah. Um, can you tell me about the 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 inspiration and the process of determining which colors to use for the final models? And are we also going to start seeing uh, down the road? Are we going to see other colors come out as well? Sure. Yeah. So uh, uh, I want to create a finish uh, that that feel like a premium watch. You know, what's a premium watch feel like? Uh, uh, the, the, the original annotized the color, uh, you know, uh, didn't feel like that. So we need to, so we go to look at those premium watch, you know, how, how the premium watch finish. Uh, uh, and, and so we try to see, okay, let's do it. And we, we, we really try to polish this really, really shiny and add this beautiful hairline so that it's like a premium watch. So the yeah. other area about the, uh, the M8 that fascinates me is the duo camera. Yeah. So this is something that we have not seen on any smartphone yet. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a great opportunity, of course, to, to differentiate yourself over competitors. Um, tell me how how long has this been in the works? How, how long have you been trying to uh, get this figured out and uh, put it into the phone? Uh, this is uh, probably more than 18 months. And we, you know, the HTC One M8, the Ultra Pistol uh, was really pretty true. Mm -hmm. And something, you know, so we really believe our vision that the pistol size is so important to, to get a great image. But we want to do it more on M8. And what is that? And of course, we don't want to uh, go to that mega pistol route, you know, because we don't, we just don't believe that's a, that's the right way to, to go. And we look at what consumer really want to do, what consumer really care. And we think uh, consumer, what consumer really care is they can create some great photos they want to share. And uh, if we can give them experience that can, they can create something awesome and they say, wow, you know, something, that kind of thing, that, what is that? So that we ask that kind of question and and then we look at uh, this dual camera and not just purely from the high-end camera bokeh effect. Actually, bokeh is great, it's one, but we want to create even more fun, the kind of experience like a foregrounder. Tell us a little bit about the smart sensor. What's this all about? Uh, the idea was from uh, today, you know, the supplier, actually technology, technology, gimmick, gimmick. But we ask ourselves, what, what's the most important for consumer? What, what we can do to have their everyday experience, make their everyday experience so much easier. So a lot of times you have to power up and unlock just for a sim simple check. So we, we think that's the area. So for example, this phone is very smart with this smart sensor. So if you want to take a simple chip, you just tap, 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 right. and then it's just up, and you can just you know, do, do this kind of stuff. And, and, and also, it actually also extend to this uh, dot view. And so you can just come out, you can just do a quick check, and and when a call is coming in, you don't have to open, you don't have to do anything. You just look at who is calling, you put your ear, you just, because a lot of time you might be busy in the kitchen or whatever you're doing. So a lot of simple things, you don't have to even touch or open uh, the device. So it just, so what we are trying to really do is to get 
it look it's simple, it's small, mm -hmm. but really make your everyday experience simpler and much more enjoyable. So I've been using this, and you know, I just feel you know it's it's so much easier. The M8 feels like more of an iterative update with a newer design, fresh firmware, and a few clever new features that we haven't seen before. It's also among the most powerful smartphones.